Investigators are about to release more details in that deadly shooting at a Panama City nightclub early this morning. Yeah, it happened about four o'clock uh, closing time and the gold nugget off Highway 98 Drummond Avenue. One man was killed. Panama City Police Chief Mark Smith holding a press conference right now. We're going to join that press con conference live. Good morning. I'm Chief Mark Smith, Panama City Police Department. I've called for this press conference so that we can discuss the incident that occurred this morning at the uh, local nightclub at 3901 West Highway 98, the Gold Nugget. Uh, my officers received calls to there this morning at 415 in reference to shots being fired at the uh, club. Uh, first officers on scene did find an individual that was deceased in the parking lot from a single gunshot wound. Uh, that individual has been identified as 36-year-old Angel Alon Alamo Contreras. Uh, he was uh, deceased, like I said, there in the parking lot. Uh, he had been a patron inside the club, had uh, become angry inside the club as they were closing, and uh, came out to his vehicle, retrieved a handgun from inside the vehicle, and began shooting into the club. As the club is exiting and the employees are there on the headed out to go home, as well as other patrons are exiting out, one of the patrons who was also armed exited out and returned to gunfire at the individual that was shooting into the nightclub, thereby killing Angel Contreras. That second shooter was identified as 29-year-old white male Glenn Kippel. Uh, and uh, at this time, through our investigation and through counsel with the state attorney's office, there will be no charges filed in this. Uh, there is all the evidence that would indicate that this individual was defending himself and defending others, um, as the Florida Stand Your Ground law provides for that to take place and that is what the state attorney's office and our investigation has determined as to what has happened here. So in this case, we will not be pursuing criminal charges. Uh, at this time, I'll try to answer any questions. I can't answer on the ongoing investigations, you know, more specifics, but I'll see what I can do for you. For those that don't know, can you kind of just give general background on what the state of uh, Florida Stand Your Ground law is just that, you know, it's, uh, everyone had first heard, you know, of the Castle Doctrine that you could defend yourself in your home. And the Stand Your Ground law takes you to wherever you are at and says you do not have a duty to retreat, that you have the ability to stand and defend yourself or others. So uh, that is what has been looked at in this case, and that's what we have determined has taken place. Is there any credence to the rumor that the first shooter was a migrant who came here illegally? I have no knowledge on that. I can speak that he is a Hispanic male, and that's about as far as I can go at this point. Uh, we may bear more information than that as this investigation continues, but I don't have it as of yet. And you were just listening live to that news conference from Chief Mark Smith on behalf of the Panama City Police Department as they were investigating a deadly shooting this morning at the Gold Nugget off Highway 98 mm -hmm. near Drummond Avenue. And as you just heard, no charges are being filed at this time. Yeah, calling a standard ground law. Yes. So, there you go.